that work hard at making yes, sure do. they have a great time when they yep. are here. Yeah, summer can be a little iffy with respect to tropics mm -hmm. sometimes. Right now we're kind of in a sweet spot of quieter weather and tropical concerns, although we do have the dust coming in. And on the tower cam, you can see it there too. A hazy look as you get farther out uh, into the distance there. And that is that haze. You remember the word, right? Me, M-I-E, me light scattering. It's 89 out right now, feels like 104. Air quality is moderate. Again, this may go down to unhealthy for some tonight and into tomorrow as the dust thickens up. We've got winds out of the southeast at 20 miles per hour and on that southeasterly flow. Look how the yellows get more vibrant into Wednesday. So hazier skies, the sunrise sunset may also be a bit more colorful and this is going to lower the air quality. So if you're symptomatic to things like dust, uh, it's an irritant. It's not an allergy. You know, you might have scratchy eyes or runny nose or watery eyes with that dust in place. Does try to start to filter out a little bit on Thursday, but I don't think it's really until Friday or Saturday that we see uh, the dust start to go away. Another look at it again, the, the haziness closer to the horizon there uh, with the dust present. Very quiet throughout the state. Some West Texas Big Bend shower activity. Everything is circulating around Texas in a clockwise motion thanks to the placement of high pressure over us. This high hangs out for the rest of the work week, then hedges north and west, and that doesn't do a ton for us. It also expands, so we're still going to be under its influence. Trough, meantime, in the eastern U.S., and this is the feature that'll pull a little tropical disturbance to the north before it gets to the Gulf, it looks like, next week. Mid-90s for us, heat index 105 to 110. That system in the tropics in question, still a medium chance to develop. You can see it starting to eat away at some of the Saharan dust around it. That is going to move toward the Bahamas, it looks like, sometime in early August, August 2nd or 3rd. And it's still not a slam dunk that this gets more to the north prior to the Gulf. A stronger feature would want to pull more north with that trough we were just talking about. Weaker system could get into the eastern Gulf, and it's not out of the question that some upper level energy breaks off of this feature and moves this way. But that wouldn't be until you know another week plus if something like that were to happen. So something to watch, not worry about for Texas. 79 tonight, southeast wind 7 to 15. It'll be a stuffy feeling evening with all the humidity and the dust in place. 94 tomorrow. A little breezier even than today. Southeast wind 15 to 25 miles per hour. That'll translate to choppiness on area water. Southeast wind 10 to 20 knots on the water. And over the next seven days, haze for sure tomorrow and Thursday. Friday, we start to cleanse a little bit. And then for the weekend, looks like a blend of sun and clouds. Way less active than last weekend. We had showers and storms both days last weekend, uh, but this time around mid 90s heat index again 105 to 110 and less dust. That's a good less thing. That's all right. Alan, thank you so much. Coming up, why?